But obviously, these uh, steps forward uh, in the implementation of the revitalized peace agreement uh, are um, positive. But at, at the same time, uh, there is much more that needs to be done. And, uh, and, and we are all here to uh, encourage uh, the uh, um, you know, further progress in the implementation of, the, of, 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 the, of this peace agreement because this is uh, uh, the framework, the political framework, uh, which offers a hope for uh, South Sudan uh, uh, to achieve uh, more stability. occurs uh, against the backdrop of a uh, humanitarian situation that is really uh, very dire and uh, I think it is important uh, to uh, try our best so that uh, uh, the people of South Sudan uh, can uh, get the kind of humanitarian assistance that they need at this uh, juncture um, and this is challenging because uh, the world is unfortunately uh, affected by many crises and many humanitarian crises and therefore uh, one of the uh, goals of this visit is to learn from our partners our colleagues here and our interlocutors what we can do to keep uh, a level of attention of the international community towards South Sudan. First of all, uh, it is really a pleasure to be with our colleagues from UNMIS again and the colleagues from uh, the UN family. Um, this is a very important UN presence, uh, but the, the challenges are also uh, very daunting. The political challenges, the uh, level of violence, uh, and also the, uh, as I indicated, the humanitarian situation. Now. Um, I think uh, what is critical is to uh, make sure that uh, uh, this uh, UN presence, these UN activities that are really well coordinated here between the different pillars, between the different uh, areas of activities, uh, uh, can provide the best possible response to the needs of South Sudan.